Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, welcome! I'm super grateful to have you here and I'm super excited to get to know you so whatever you feel like commenting or leaving a like or subscribing to the channel is very 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 much appreciated. We are reacting today to the Martian Martian? I can't, I cannot pronounce it to save my dear life, but you know what I'm talking about. We are reacting to this. Um, the movie comes after a poll and after you guys recommended the movie at the reaction I had to Interstellar, you said that I would love this, so I hope I will. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the reaction. And of course, of course, if you want to see the full length reaction and in advance, you can join my Patreon. You have the link in the description below. You'll find it there. Great times. Great times. Of course, there are other pools and, and things happening. So if you want to be a little bit more implicated in the community, there is the place to do it. All right. So as you already know, I have my coffee, I have my water and I have some tissues because I'm sick again. I know. But yeah. We're kind of ready, so I guess let's go. Dum 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 dum. Ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -da -da. I would love to have some snacks as well while I watch movies, but unfortunately my mic is like so sensitive that you guys will probably hear every crack crack crack. See Vaseline lips destroyed. Being sick sucks. S the Martian. Probably don't pronounce this right, but you guys got it. You guys got it. Our, our little neighbor red planet. Acidalia planitia. Planitia? Plan planitia. All right. Well, much finer, and this should be ideal for chem analysis. Uh, making sure the MAV is still up. <laughs> which leads to all of us listening, which leads to me being annoyed. Roger that. Martinez, the captain, would like you to. I know her. We would prefer to use a different adjective to describe Martinez's mouth. <laughs> oh, did Beck just insult me? <laughs> Dr. Beck, and yes. Uh, but I don't know from where. Oh, excuse me. So they Apologize just... Apologize for my countryman, Vogel. <laughs> they just cut the communication line. 100 grams each. Oh, that's never a happy son. Yeah, they, they upgraded their estimate. Just go in. The storm's gonna be a lot worse. Going already. Martinez, how's it look? Like the apocalypse. Not good. Like like death. It looks like death. 1,200 kilometers in diameter, bearing 24.41 degrees. Who is this? Anything more than that, and the map can tip. Who is scrub? Let's wait it out. Uh oh. I think this is the decision. I think this is the decision that will mess up everything. Prep emergency departure. Good. Commander. We're scrubs. That's an order. I would I would agree I would agree with her decision here. Let me know what you guys would you would you do. I mean for me if minutes, how long before takeoff? Twelve minutes. For me on into my suit telemetry. You ready? Oh my god. Ready. This already starts in ten It's like the first five minutes movie. Keep, keep. Let me get used to it, you know? Commander, we're at 10 degrees and the map is gonna tip at 12.3. Oh my god. We don't want to step over him. Warning. With all the ghosts of wind. Copy that. She has to make a decision now. It'll get you the airlock. Get in, prep for launch. What about you? She's gonna go for him. So she's what? remaining behind to look for him. The map's at 11.6 degrees. One oh my, this is intense. If it tips, you launch. You really think I'm gonna leave you behind? That's an order, Martinez. Yes. What about the proximity radar? Could that detect what is suit? Fred can't get through a sandstorm. She's grasping for anything. She's really trying to find him. Nothing? Nah, I can barely see the hat. Switch up Commander, you need to get back to the ship. Oh my god. Best will never rock back. I got one more. You have to go now. Orders, okay, You're okay, so the He's using the propulsion to go back tip down the other way. Yeah, this, so is, let's go. this is a very, very intense situation because basically what do you do? You save your life or you save your conscious? That's the problem. 
I mean, it's th this is a decision you will have to live with for the rest of your life. I need you to verbally tell me whether or not to punch. Sadly, I would have done the same. I mean, at the end of the day, she had to think about other lives as well, not only Mark's life. If the whole movie is gonna be like this... Central Standard Time, our satellites detected a storm approaching the Ares 3 mission site on Mars and perform an emergency launch at 728 Central Time. And now, the bad news? During the evacuation, astronaut Mark Watton with the Hermes and are now heading home. They are using God's name. Is dead. Like Hermes and Ares. My nose. I'm sorry guys, I'm sick again. I hate it too. This is like the annoying alarm you have in the morning. So where do you take the oxygen? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, he's he's impaled on with something. Don't remove it. Don't remove it. You 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 you. you. <laughs> but now I'm wondering where is he gonna get like the. What's gonna happen to him? Oh, it seems like they had some kind of like a. Let's just call it a farm thing going on. I hope this is not a crying movie. It's nice that everything still works so so good and everything. You know, it's like. It just just sends me back to like Interstellar because Matt Damon was in that movie as well. So the suits look so cool. A lot of details into them as well. I mean, time was very uh, good with you, Matt. Don't mind me. I wonder if like astronauts in general are trained into like medicine and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, that thing is bleeding. Infection maybe? Or anesthetic? Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. You got this, you got this. It's okay. There is some piece stuck inside still. <laughs> Jesus. That's some great acting there. I love the attention of details, guys. Look at this. The sweat, the face. Is it just gonna stample? St stample? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a medical stamp sampler. <sighs> I don't know why I'm encouraging a character in the movie, but I'm invested now. Fuck. <laughs> that, that would be me, you know, realize you're alone on the planet. Everyone left. The thing is now, can he communicate to Earth from this little base thingy? Hello, this is Mark Watney, astronaut on Soul 19, and I'm alive. One day passed. Obviously. <laughs> I'm guessing that's gonna come as a surprise to my crewmates and to NASA. Surprise! <laughs> this length of our primary communications antenna broke off. Okay, so no communication. Even though the crew must have thought I was dead. I have no... Okay. And even if I could, it's gonna be four years until a manned mission can reach me. Through to the distance. Eventually I'm gonna run out of food. Seems about right. Yeah. You're screwed. You're gonna die. It's just a matter yeah. of how. So I'm not questioning why the four year until a man mission can reach him because recently, since I start, uh, st since I looked at Interstellar, I looked a little bit more at this space and everything. So this four years is just how much time it will take you to reach. Like it's the differences. This is like such an interesting movie. I loved the fact that they explained everything. Like Sol 18 was the first day that happened and now one day passed. And like this, we can actually quantify the the days and how much time he spends. And 
It's uh, it's interesting to see all of the factors that could kill him or sorry, unalive him. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's really nice. If he doesn't go insane first, maybe he could grow some crops somehow there. Lewis. So he's looking towards their boxes with their belongings. I'm not gonna die here. Good, good. Determination. We like it. Yes, yes. Soul 21. Nice. This is what I love. I love when the timeline is visible i love that it's one of my 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 things i don't want to stay in question oh but how many days it passed oh but you know what i mean i love this okay coffee ah. and for uh science purposes anyone knows how old matt damon was in this movie <clears throat> just asking 34 35 36 making a list okay all right all right you will have to start r rationalizing these these meals. You could use poop. You could use poop as a fertilizer, I guess. If you would want to. Do not open until something. Ah, maybe those are crops. Because in my head, he said the oxygen might be an issue. Let's do the math. Our service mission here was supposed to last... That's going to last 300 souls, which I figure I can stretch to 400 if I ration. Yeah. So, three years worth of food here. Yeah, correct. And where nothing grows. Luckily, <laughs> I'm a botanist. We'll come to fear my botany powers. <laughs> nice that's what i was i was considering as well because he he was he was saying oxygen and food right and poop as we know it's a fertilizer i grew up in the countryside we do we did use um animal poop as a fertilizer so my brain already went to that direction i'm sorry if i, I, if, I if i sound like a nerd guys But I wonder how is he? I think this is gonna be such an interesting movie. Soul 22. Is it infected? Staple came out. Shit. All right. So this is a sterile environment. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. I don't know. It makes me excited. It's the thing when you don't know in what kind of movie you're going into and then some of them are like kind of slower and some of them are like have their ups and downs but this one is uh is really keeping me on edge i love that and curious as well all right so we have dirt grapefruit juice maybe oh fuck you mars <laughs> man i did my I did my fair share of farming. I'll have to admit. Poop. Yo, hands up, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoving poop. It's not fun. So we're mixing poop with seeds and with the veggie. I think we should play a, play a game. Every time I say poop, we drink. 36? I... Maybe you will even like lose your mind. I have created 126 square meters of soil to be farmable. Yeah, and you drink, so you need to drink. a lot more water. How do we make the water? Recipe. Okay, you good. You take hydrogen, you add oxygen, you burn. If I run the hydrazine over an iridium catalyst, and then if I just direct Chemix. into a small area in the history of humanity, nothing bad has ever happened from the notable exception of... My brain hurts. Martinez's personal items. 
I am sorry, Martinez, but if you didn't want me to go through your stuff, you shouldn't have left me for dead on a desolate planet. <laughs> By the way, I'm figuring you're going to be fine with this, given my present situation. What material is that? Oh, wood! All right. I was like, what material is that? I was thinking he was using the little Jesus to burn, but then, of course, he's using wood as fire. I'm so bad at chemistry and all of this. It really... It's not doing it for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Best guess because I'm stupid. Try again and hold your breath. Back to work here. Just as soon as my ears stop ringing. I was thinking it's my headset. It's not. Good. Now we have a space program. <laughs> the way he reacted. <laughs> Alright. Well, the fact that he has something to do at least keeps his mental working. So, 54. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Show me the little green. I have no idea how they're called in English. It's growing. Hey there. Hi. Little green hope. My lips are etched. Onward and upward in the mission of their agency. <sighs> By doing so, they honor the legacy Mark's leaving behind. It's nice that they uh, put this. Sacrifice will not be in vain. Um, they put this scene. The first one being life, and the second one being his funeral. That, you know, like one after another. That's that's really nice. It's a nice touch. We're funded for five Ares missions. I think I can get Congress to authorize a sixth. There's half a mission worth of supplies up there. I can sell it at a fraction of the cost of a normal. Mission. Huh. Congress won't reimburse us for a paperclip. Mm, I see. He's not going anywhere, Teddy. I mean, he's not. Well, we can't wait a year. We got work to do. Aries 5 won't even launch for five years. We have this plenty of time. And this guy wants the supplies from on, on, on top of Mars, on the hub, where Mark is. Okay, consider this. Is. <clears throat> right? More support from Congress, but not if we wait a year. Mm, he's... Shit. He has a point. He does have a point. He has financial gain, but... Oh my god, look at how many damn monitors. Mindy Park. Mindy. Is the hub. <laughs> she just realizes that he's alive. Oh my god, oh my god, I got, go I got goosebumps. This is Mindy Park in Statcon. I need the emergency contact for Vincent Kapoor. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's an emergency. Oh my god. Let's see how everybody is reacting. Very sure. 100%. It could have been cleaned by wind. According to the logs, Commander Lewis took it out, Sol 17, plugged it into the hab to recharge. No, if, if Watney is really alive, we don't want the Ares 3 crew to know. Why not? Tell them. They have another 10 months on their trip home. The space travel is dangerous. They need to be alert and undistracted. But they already think he's dead. Yeah, exactly. Find out they left him there alive. I'm sorry, but you have not thought this through. I mean, can they turn? Dear America, remember that astronaut we killed and had a really nice funeral for? He's alive. I mean, do you realize the shitstorm that is about to hit us? I love the sarcasm. I love it. Stay toxic. Legally, we have 24 <laughs> hours to release these pictures. But if my math is right, he's going to starve to death long before we can help him. Wow, this guy. You can imagine what he's going through. I mean, it's a cherry. From home, he thinks he's totally alone. He thinks we gave up on him. I mean, what does that do to a man psychologically? He's keeping busy, don't worry. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna die up here. <laughs> My god, Commander Lewis, couldn't you have packed anything from this century? <laughs> We're working on it. Uh, this is how it's gonna be. To survive? We will we'll be looking into that. <laughs> what does this say about the agency? Are you gonna resign? Soul 70. Nice. It's time to start thinking long-term. 3,200 kilometers away. 32. 
Okay, how can we do them? Battery has to be recharged at the hab. Can we make That's problem. external batteries? Problem B is this journey is going to take me roughly 50 days. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. <laughs> I love it. Let's see how he's going to do it. This is such a nice thinking of a movie. I wonder who wrote this. I need to, to see at the end. As you guys might know, I usually don't read description, nor do I know like who directed it. I just knew Matt Damon was in, in this movie because I was told so. Okay, so success. I have doubled my battery life by scavenging okay. Rover 1 every day. So you're gonna freeze. <laughs> Slowly killed by the laws of thermodynamics. Can you put like I would solar love to panels solve this problem right now, but on it? Unfortunately. Can can you put like like maybe like solar panels on top of the rover? And like that the energy could be provided. Good news. I may have a solution by the to my sun, problem. Sun. One of the lessons was titled Don't Dig Up the Big Box of Plutonium. <laughs> RTGs are good for spacecraft, but if they rupture around humans and planted that flag so we would never be stupid enough to accidentally go near it again. <laughs> as long as I don't break it. Decaying radioactive isotope riding right behind me, but right now I got bigger problems on my hands. This is officially the least disco song. <laughs> That's his problem. Stop, baby, tonight. I want some hot stuff, baby, to sing with me, boys and girls. Yeah, the shoulders. Mm. Mm. We like a shoulder. Shoulder man, shoulder man. Nice. Shimmy, shimmy. Well, we think that he plans to travel to the Aries 4 launch site in order to make contact with us, but it would be a dangerous gamble. And to trust that we are doing everything in our power to bring him home. Alive. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a statement. So God forbid I try to say something proactive and, and positive. Yeah, but you made the promise. Did a short EVA and then drove for another two. We think the every 41 hours there's a 17 minute gap. It's All just right. the way the orbits work. So let's assume Miss Park didn't miss anything. So Mark's not going to Aries 4 yet. But he's gonna get there. Three months. Yeah, invest the money. Get started. I'll find you the money. I mean, you have a reason to put all of this money. I'm the one who decides what's best for the crew. Yeah. Couldn't it have been the option for them to return? Like, Once to there's just a real turn? rescue plan, we'll tell them. Otherwise, it's moot. Know. It's been 48 souls since I planted the potatoes, so now it's time to reap and re sow. Oh my god. 400 healthy potato plants. Nice. I dug them up, being careful. All natural, organic, Martian grown potatoes. Potatoes. Every day, do you? Potatoes helped Euro. There's it all if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA. So basically, potatoes saved Europe from famine. Potatoes help Mark on Mars as well. I know what I'm gonna do. He's a smart ass. I like a smart ass. My dogs. <laughs> sniff, sniff. And we're out of coffee, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna start drinking water. He hasn't changed course for 13 days. He's nowhere near the Aries 4. Well, unless he's not taking a direct route. I mean, he might be trying to... This has a daily of Planitia. There's nothing out there except the... The? What? The? I need a map. Uh-oh. Hey, right. come on, man. What are you it's all right, it's all right. Can I borrow this? Yeah, where's Watney? Uh... All right, so where is he going? Okay. I know where he's going. I need to get on an airplane. Where the hell is he going? Keeping us here. I see sand and, and rocks. And more sand. Jet propulsion laboratory. Something that was covered by sand. Maybe it was another ha hub, 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 was it called? I'd like to introduce Vincent Kapoor, director of Mars missions. You know, this is our current Pleasure. team. Okay, so there is something that we lost contact with in 97, and apparently Mark wants to make it work, but what is it? Is it a rover? Is it a satellite? Is it what the hell is it? A drone? Is this the replica? This is her. Okay, let's see it. Pathfinder. 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 All right. Seems 
like a rover, like a small drone thingy. 109. I will lose my mind. Maybe if I have books. Not, but still. So we're trying to fix this. Alright, let's go. He's giving it some juice. Oh. Forecasting status, listening for telemetry signal. Uh -huh. He managed? Okay. Uh, signal acquired. <laughs> he did it. Alright. Okay, uh, Oh my god. I cannot actually believe he did it. And this is working. So it's kind of like a communication device. I, I would I will jump. I would be so hyped. I will just probably pee myself out of excitement. Help! I'm alive. <laughs> Are those big enough those to be seen? Oh, I thought he was like writing a message, but he was definitely not. Sorry, my bad. Are you receiving, receiving me? me? Yes. yes. No. <laughs> he's so smart. Oh my god, he's so smart. 32 minute round trip communications time. All he can do is ask yes, no questions. And all we can do is point the camera. This yes. We now gone when round table of snappy. Just do it. Just do it. Roger that. Pointing <laughs> the camera. What the is this guy is he stupid he just pointed to no oh! and he just somehow we have to have complex astrophysical engineering conversations using nothing but a still frame camera the camera looked like going to no yeah i'd never know what the camera was pointing at exactly so the camera only spins potatoes delish hot 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 Hexadecimals to the rest. I don't know what the hexa thing is. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you super nerd Beth Johansson. <laughs> I know where he's going with this. All right, so at least we have smart people working on this. Thank God, hallelujah. I'm so curious to see who wrote this. You got this. Oh. How? Long? No. How? How alive? How alive? That's the question. It's they, they did say it's a lot of time uh, sending back the messages. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm impaled by antenna, by a monitor, crew to make me that not. Now that we can have more something. complicated conversations, NASA can link the rover to Pathfinder's broadcasting frequency, and we're in business. I mean, now that he know that. I mean, did it? Mm. Oh. They can just change mission Ares 4 to go where Ares 3 was, no? We've been watching you since all 54 to keep you fed until Ares 4 arrives. Oh my god. Right back. I grow potatoes. Glad to hear it. Really looking forward to not dying. Uh. <laughs> How's the crew? What did they say when they found out I was alive? Yeah, uh, you see, we didn't tell them yet because we suck. Guys, can we get some space, please? You should tell him. Tell him, yes. Tell him. Say the truth. Come on, let's go. We need them to concentrate on their mission. You have to come clean. It's okay, it's okay, don't don't lose your shit. Don't lose your shit. You're fine, you're fine. They don't know I'm alive. Type is being broadcast live all over the world. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> Hi, Ward. Yes, sir. He's under a tremendous amount of stress. <laughs> I love it. Or anyone else. What about Mark's family? Just tell the damn damn crew. Maybe I like space. Maybe I like space movie. I don't know. Oh, she's so pretty. That and, is almost complete. And sad. Man, where do I know her? Is is this the, the wife of Tony Stark? Or am I just messing it up? Should be pictures of the party. This is so cool. Got a batch of personals. Dispatching them to your laptops now. I don't need to read Vogel's weird German fetish email. <laughs> 
Oh, there's a video message? It's, it's addressed to the whole crew. Play it. Come on, guys. Oh my god, I cannot wait. A subtle way to prove this. Mark's alive. Mark Watney is still alive. He's alive and he's healthy. And you left them here, there. We'll give you a write-up of, of, of what happened, a full write-up of everything. I want to see what he said. I left them behind. Yeah, now the guilty conscience comes. So now that NASA can talk to me, they won't shut up. <laughs> Look, I mean, I don't mean to sound arrogant or anything, but I am the greatest botanist on this planet. <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> I even got one from the president. The coolest one, though. Ketchup. Technically. I colonized Mars. <laughs> From a s in your face, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> or coquettish ingenue. <laughs> but I'm not really sure how that's gonna look with my spacesuit on. Let's see how he poses. <laughs> well, I could tell him to take off his helmet, but then he'd. Yes. Yes, any. Nine month travel time that puts the probe to Mars on Sol 868. Grudging. <laughs> Grudging. Oh, yeah, Mark has a tendency to tell him to have sex with themselves whenever they question one of his decisions. <laughs> Fine, Vincent, we can't afford any miscommunication. I hate this margin. I love Mark. If Sol's worth of food, we get there on 868. And that's assuming nothing goes wrong. Don't jinx it. He jinxed it. He jinxed it. I'm telling you, he jinxed it. Yep. It's like me sitting and doing reaction. I'm like, I hope I'm not getting hungry. You know what's happening? I'm getting hungry. Nice. Nice. Great. We love it. Okay. He survived so many days. Shit, shit, panicking, panicking, panicking. Panicking, panicking. Oxygen level 5%. He cannot die now, come on. I don't think he can just take this part and reattach it, right? It doesn't work like this, correct? Okay. What was this part? It's dead. Oh no, is this the crops? Is it the crops? His potatoes. Everything is gone. Everything he worked on is gone. His helmet is broken. Oh wait, he has another helmet. That's that's uh, that's good. Don't tell me we're gonna live in our rover now. Are we gonna live in our rover for I don't know one year? It was that guy's fault. I don't know. I would be so beaten. Yep, yep. That would be me as well. Frustrated. Well, he can still eat the potatoes he has, he just can't grow anymore, so... Rations get him to what? Sol 409? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to launch as soon as possible, which changes our travel time. Can you just do it? It's Sol 135 now. 47 days to make this probe. Can the team that's already in the air go back? I'm gonna need a change of clothes. He's sweating? I would be sweating too. Like, like these guys, can they not return? Sorry. We left you behind on Mars, but we just don't like you. Aww. Doing your tasks. But I mean, it's only botany. <laughs> Science. <laughs> oh my god. That's sweet. How's Mars? Well, my crops died. Martinez. Mars is fine. I accidentally blew up the hab. All of Commander Lewis's disco music still survived. Just because I can. <sighs> now what the hell do we do? What the hell do we do? What the hell do we do? Maybe he's trying to create an either kind of like a, a ser, like a, like a sera. I don't know. Um, how the hell do I call it in English? I don't know how to call it in English. Sera in Romanian. Oh, he's trying to fix that oxygen thing he did. Mm, imagine duct tape. Is it? Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust it. Like it's damn duct tape. It's duct tape. <sighs> Maybe you want to put your helmet on with a suit. 
Okay. This is a very risky thing he's, he wanna do. He wanna use some ration from his potato to maybe like replant some. Uh. <sighs> Astrono Astro Astrodynamics. Heck, it almost be easier if you um. Oh, idea? I can see it. Is it what? I can see it. I need more coffee. Uh. <laughs> you alright? Fine. It's something in people's eyes when they get an idea. I like that. Almost easier to what? Uh oh, it's happening. Let's see. You do understand I'm your boss, right? Shh. Uh -huh. cool. Cool. And we can get that down to two, right? I can get it down to two. It's these guys. How often do those inspections reveal a problem? But that's grounds for countdown halt. Oh, I can't say that, Chance. Anyone else know a safer way to buy more time? Don't do the inspections. I'm now eating one of these every three days. Oh my god. I love food too much. I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. I don't know what Vicodin does. Is it a sleeping pill? Is it. It has been seven days since I ran out of ketchup. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but the ketchup is the problem, you know. This is the flight director. Begin launch status check. Roger that flight. Father was a Hindu, my mother's a Baptist, so yeah. So start praying. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven one. Lift off. Good trust. Push that baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't understand what's happening, but they are cheering, so we did it. No, no, there is a beeping. We are getting a very large procession. What is a profession? Profess. Spinning on the long axis around a 17 degree procession. No. So we were happy to fast. LOS here too. Nice. I love it. Reporting debris falling from the sky. How the lunch go um yes what do you even tell him hey you remember we were supposed to launch something yeah it didn't work out and it'll be hard talking to a couple it's yeah. a lot to ask the mantle is going down here which is why i'm asking you tell them i love what i do and that i'm really good at it and that cost the life of their son thank you for being that's acceptance. Um, an unbalanced load. Vincent, why wasn't this addressed in the inspections phase? Huh? <laughs> we didn't do it. Our launch window, we were forced to accelerate our schedule. John Wilkos, chief scientist. Our data is secret. Oh, oh. The world will never know. Actually, we can help the world. Can you go ahead, please? Then we will use the data to solve the problem. Good. Thank you. Is he asked to resign? Probably. Most likely. Yes. No? All right. To finish it in 28. Everyone is working like a crazy person. This guy sleeps and eats work. Oh my god. He's going. Look at him. He's going. I'm gonna call you back. Come. Give him the plan. What? Give me the plan, give me the Your plan. Your plan won't work. Too many things can go wrong. How do you know that? Why does Elrond mean secret meeting? The Council of Elrond is what that's from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> We're gonna call something Project Elrond. I would like my code name to be Glorfindel. Glorfindel? Every one of you. <laughs> doesn't even know about this yet. I can get the Hermes back to Mars by Sol 561. How? The Hermes. What I've been saying. Could you stand right there for me? We should have just worked on that the whole time. I'm the director of NASA. <laughs> right now, the Hermes is headed towards you, starting its month-long deceleration to intersect. What I'm proposing is... Going around it. To preserve velocity and gain even more. We don't intercept with Earth at all, but we come close enough to get a... Gra to use the gravity and push back to Mars. And resupply with the probe. The Taiyang ship. Pick up whatever provisions we need, and now we're accelerating towards Mars. Yeah. I've done the math. Checks out. 
that's too much math for me to understand it but the idea i get the idea i get the idea it's just the calculation or the yeah both plans require the tie-in ship so but what about the hermes crew we'd be asking them to add 530 they'll gonna do it yeah they wouldn't hesitate not for a second yeah i wouldn't either low chance of killing six people man this movie is all about choices we still have a chance to bring five astronauts home safe and sound. I'm not risking their lives. She's gonna... Yeah, exactly. She's gonna say yes. We're going with option one. Go, Mitch. You goddamn coward. I wonder if they're gonna inform the Commander Lewis about all of this. And all of this, like, these pictures and, like, the music and, uh, you know, everything is so... <laughs> Where are you? The gym. How do you even work out here? <laughs> yes. It's a it's a plain ASCII text file. Okay. I don't really know what we're looking at. It's um Does that make any sense to you? Mm-hmm. We ran the numbers, they check out. Oh my god. It's so wild a cloak and dagger. They don't want you to. It goes know. directly against NASA's decision. Yep. On the supply ship where we die, we have the opportunity to force their hand. They're gonna do it. Before you answer, consider the consequence. Yeah, consider everything. Up the supply rendezvous, we die. If we mess up the Earth gravity assist. I think this guy is Sebastian Stan and he's Romanian. 533 days. The guy with the kids is gonna say no. If it's mission critical, we die. Sign me up. <laughs> how, uh, how would it work? What is Korsh Marshall Court? They could take over the Hermes for mission control. So you have to like destroy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hermes has four redundant flight computers, each connected to three redundant comm systems. Okay, um, but like in English, like what would that mean? I can do it. <laughs> nice. Right. Well, it has to be unanimous. Come on. If we do this, it will be over 900 days of space. The guy with the kids, yeah. Negative flight. It's not drift. They've adjusted course. <laughs> Telemetry, any chance this is instrumentation? No. Annie will go before the media this morning and inform them of NASA's decision to reroute the Hermes to Mars. I want a coffee Sounds like and some move. food. I want pass along information. I wonder who did. Who made the decision on their own? Mm. I'm trying to keep this airborne. It's bigger than one person. It's not about that. Yeah. So, if you cannot, when this is over, I'll expect your resignation. If you cannot do what's right for one person, you don't deserve to. That's home. You don't deserve to think about the other ones. Plan is for me to use that to go into orbit, oh. just as the Hermes is passing. How to take everything here that's keeping me alive? Put it in the rover. Bring that all with me. Um, and luckily I have the, and so far they've come up with, hey, why don't you drill holes in the roof of your rover and hit it as hard as you can with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I love this kind of humor. It, it makes me happy. I don't know. Like, kind of like sarcastic humor. I like that. Look at that little thing. Holy! I think when he's gonna go back to Earth, he's never gonna have potatoes ever again. Goodbye, Mars. Oh, look at Earth, how pretty it is. And you said yes to this? Yes. He would have done the same for me. You know that. Yes. This is emotional, but I don't know why. I feel like everybody coming together and families accepting the situation and everything. No. <laughs> Not a scratch. All, all due respect to your CNSA protocol, but we haven't done things that way. Man, I would not trust this plastic. I don't know, I couldn't. I couldn't trust the plastic. Oh. 
Stop crying, I'm sick. He's doing it. He's going, he's going. Alright. Man, I don't know how many we can use. Considering of all uh, the songs here. But we'll try all bus. Okay, let's get this thing. And let's go help Mark. Come on, baby, come on. And... Nice. We took it, we took it. Provisions... Are here. So basically, Earth did their part. Now we just have to... Take our precious cargo from Mars. Seven months later. Wow. Crazy. <sighs> oh, look how skinny he is. I've been thinking about laws on Mars. Laws? And by another treaty, if you're not in any country's territory, maritime law applies. Okay. Mars is international waters. Right, so... So, that means I'm gonna be taking a craft over in international waters without permission, which by definition... So you stole it. Mark Watney. Space pirate. <laughs> I didn't understand this part correctly. I mean, I don't know correctly, more like truly, I would say. So if someone can have like a easy way of explaining it, I would love it. Mark the space pirate. You only see orange and red and sand and rocks for such a long time. Crazy. Everywhere I go, I'm the first. You are the first. Step outside the rover, first guy to be there. Climb that hill, first guy to do that. I'm the first person to be alone on an entire planet. You are. It should be called Mark instead of Mars. Everybody's waiting and waiting and waiting to see how How's this goes. Lays the solar panels, waits 13 hours for them to recharge and sleeps somewhere in there and then... How's he doing? Probably losing his mind. He asked us to call him Captain Blondebeard. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. He explained it to us. Captain Blondebeard. <laughs> nice. I love that. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I laughed at this movie that's not supposed to be a comedy more to, than I usually laugh at one comedy. And that's just because of the, um, the sarcasm. I do love sarcasm. I usually use sarcasm a lot as well. Um, sarcasm is fun. Wow. This is really beautiful. It looks so pretty. I like the idea of using the solar panels as a rechargeable battery source, kind of. Let me just change my position, my back is killing me. And we're driving, we're driving, we're going. Stay awake, Mark. 517. Okay, uh, we're gonna start by stating for the record that you're not gonna like this. Oh yeah? Well, you can do that, right? Well, so there's some gimmies right off the bat. The, the design presumes 500 kilograms of Martian soil and samples. Just throw them. Wait, wait a second. You want a what? You want a re remote controlled ascent with no backup comms? If you want him to get out, we need to remove the nose airlock, the windows, and whole panel 19. So you want to send him in what? In front of the ship, huh? <laughs> oh. uh, we're gonna have him cover it with pad canvas. Plastic? Hell Almost, no. Mostly there Hell to keep no. the air in. Mars's atmosphere is so thin. It'll be high enough that there's practically no air. You want to send them into space under a tarp? Yes. Can I go on? Mm, no. no. <laughs> Thanks. You think he means it like... Are you kidding me? No, he's definitely not excited. Or like... Are you kidding me? I think it might be the second. I think he means it like, are you messing up? Could be the first way. No. Are you kidding me? This is a very crazy mission. I don't know exactly what they're doing. They just keep repeating. <laughs> like that's a good thing. Like it'll distract me from how insane their plan is. <laughs> I love that radiator in the back. 
They're only doing that in the hopes that I won't raise any objections. Because I like the way fastest man in the history of space travel sounds. <laughs> I do like the way it sounds. I mean, you're Captain Blondebeard. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Let's do this. I mean, at this point, I don't think you really have a choice anymore. Oh, red. Red is not good. Red is bad. Good green. Good green. <laughs> I mean, I have a question now. If they had already like these supplies in this little rocket, they could have just the plan two, no? Ejecting everything, put the plastic, the tarp, remove the nose. Because at the end of the day, the problem was with the with food and everything, right? So if he would have just done all of this rover thing, come here, take the supplies, no? Or this ship did not have supplies. It was more with minerals to take back to Earth. That was the part I didn't really understand. We're ready. What's the intercept plan? We finished attaching the tethers into one long line. It's 214 meters long. Well, we may have some leeway. Salt and pepper explanation, I love it. 52 minutes before intercept. Okay. Once Mark's engine shuts off, we'll know our intercept point and velocity. So we don't know until then. Yep. Okay. I have the same salt and pepper uh, containers as well, home. Ikea, not bad. Let's see how this goes. I love the radiator in the back. His last meal, goodbye Mars meal. Take care of this rover, she saved my life. Oh, that's so sweet. We should name the rover. Everyone suggest rover names in the comments. I'm gonna go with Rovi or Spacey. She, he, he said she, so, you know. Rovi, I think Rovi's cute. To NASA, making contact with Mark Rodney. No pressure, NASA. So 24 minutes. Look at his teeth, bruises, everything. No more Captain Blombeard. So skinny. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love the attention to details. Beautiful. If you're a person like I am that likes to see this, you definitely appreciate it. You got this, Mark. Let's go. Come on. One last push. This is so emotional. We are ready for pre-flight checklist, Commander. About two minutes, Watney. How you doing down there? I'm good. Thanks for coming back for me. Well, we're on it. Oh my god, that line. You're in Martinez's hands now. Well, tell that asshole no barrel rolls. <sighs> Remote command. Go. Recovery. Go. Man, I love Matt Damon. I love him. Pilot. Go. Go. Copy, we'll go. I know it's a movie, but he's gonna pass out, but that's normal. That's gone. Yeah, it's meter for a second. Altitude thirteen fifty meters. It's too low. I think he's fighting. Come on, Martinez. Say yes, come on. Okay. Copy that. Oh my god, that's crew there, just... Shut down in three, two, one. Floating, oh, I'm staying like... Fuel reserves depleted. No more fuel. What? Now what? Come on, Mark. Mark, wake up. Come on, guys, keep it together, work the problem. How can we do it? To intercept. 39 minutes, 12 seconds. Okay, we have 39 minutes. We got this. I can get by with about 20% of what we have. Use that. Then we'll have 39 minutes to figure out yeah. how to slow down. Come on, Mark, wake up and start thinking. Martinez, burn the jets. Copy that. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He's awake, he's awake. Say something. Can you hear me? Can you read? I'm in space. I'm spinning. Bloody. Affirmative. Oh my god. He survived it. 
Well, we're working on getting to you. There was a complication during launch. Copy that. How big a problem? 42 meters a second. Well. <laughs> you left him on Mars, now you're gonna leave him in space? Come on. You cannot leave him in Commander, space. Commander, I could use the escaping air as a thruster. And, and fly towards you. I'd get to fly around like Iron Man. <laughs> Commander, let's go Iron Man. Communication log. He just closed the communication. It'll give us a good kick. Yeah, but also blow the nose off the ship. And all the air would leave, and we need air to not die. Yeah. Can you make a bomb with what you have on board? Can you uh, make it go boom boom? Hang on, you guys making a bomb without me? <laughs> Copy that. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. This plan is a crazy plan. It's a crazy damn plan. Can you just think about it, that if you let loose, you're just gonna float forever and ever? I, I want all the memorials back home to be about me. Just me. I should have left this guy on Mars. <sighs> Liquid this oxygen. is very intense. There's a stain the moon. The stain so much chemistry involved in this movie. These images are so nice. The technology we have nowadays to do all of this is really cute. Cute and beautiful. Let's the floating idea, and everything. It is. Open A1. I wonder how they filmed all of this floating. Don't tell anyone I did that. <laughs> it's a sticky bomb. bomb. You have to be a little insane to, to blow. Johansson? 260 meters approximate. What if he does the suit as well? <sighs> and he pushes too, you know? Oh my god, oh my god. No, nope, nope, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Open T3. I don't, I don't like this, this, this scene here. I feel like something is gonna happen to this guy. Uh, I forgot his name. Johansson? No, no. Maybe? Is she going in space after him? Time to bow. I know the the girl is Johansson. Okay. Fifteen seconds. I'm not risking another crew member. She's going after him. Forty-one. <laughs> Worked. Still holding. What's the damage? Worry about that later. Oh, she's going with this this kind of like a suit thingy. Do they have? I visual on the map. Enough. Great. I'll wave at you guys as I go by. And that's the max that that suit goes. Beck, unhook me. I'm going after him. No, 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 Commander, no, no. I got this. He's gonna do the trick. The suit. <laughs> okay. We kind of got a bit of control on it. <laughs> He really is doing the Iron Man. Okay. Come on. Go to her, go to her. Okay. This is crazy, this is damn crazy. Come on, come Six on. Six meters. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Hold, catch the... Yes, 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 yes. Hold that, hold that, hold that. They're spinning. Come on. Pull them in. Pull them in. Uh, I got it. <sighs> I almost died. It's good to see you. You have terrible <laughs> taste in music. We made it. We got him. Oh, 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 oh my god. Hey, handsome. Close the hatch. Takes crew safely aboard. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. I'm so happy. He's going home now. <laughs> Coffee. 
coffee. He has his priority traits. I, I can understand that. <sighs> Hi, little plant. Hey there. Sir. Everybody knows him. Day one. He's even going to work. Welcome to the astronaut candidate program. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, definitely. I did, in fact, survive on a deserted planet by farming in my own shit. <laughs> when I was up there, stranded by myself, did I think I was going to die? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you did mention. Everything's going to go south, and you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. But it's normal as well in life. And then the next. And if you solve enough problems, you get to come home. All right. I mean, I, I think that's a good idea to like live day by day. Directed by Radley Scott. Okay, okay. What Written by Linsley by Andy Weir. Good job. Um, this time, of course, we hope to bring all the astronauts back at the same time. guidance <laughs> check complete. Copy guidance. Oh, they're going back? The, the Martinez guy was, was back. Oh, the rich. T minus 10, 9. Spy Matt begin the next chapter of American space exploration. Wow, oh, good show. <laughs> Aww. Sebastian Stan, yeah, he's Romanian. Okay. I was looking for the one. It was such a beautiful movie. Really, really good. I loved it. A Riley Scott film. Beautiful. Let's address the fact that most of you are asking me about this, this star rating thing. So it's not from one to 10, it's from one to five. Five being the best one, one being like meh. Because a lot of people were like, kind of like meanish. They would be like, oh, you give this four stars, you clearly don't know what you're talking about or like whatever mean comments inserted. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure one more time that it's from one to five, five being the maximum, all right? Perfect. So the movie was very, very well. I loved it. I loved the attention to the details. I liked the... Um, I liked the whole story, the whole timeline, the whole everything. The acting was really, really good. For me personally, because I do like, I, I do like, like the super emotional kind of movie. Like for example, watch my Interstellar reaction. I think that was just a little thing that was missing. So I'm gonna go with po uh, 4.5 because of it. Maybe, I mean, it's not like it was needed. It's just that what I would personally would prefer. I don't know, maybe a little bit of interaction with his parents or you know like this uh, i don't know it, it's just a personal okay don't don't jump at my throat for it so i think a 4.5 is fair and it, like i said i mentioned the, the things that i liked about it maybe some things i would love to have happened uh, of course you're free to put your own rating in the comment section below let me know what you would have liked or maybe you maybe you noticed some things that really didn't make sense in the movie let me know let me know some facts if you want i always like to read your comments i'm super grateful for them of course your rating matters as well for the full length reaction you can find it on patreon i'm so sorry mike i don't know why i keep hitting you well i'm out man the full length reaction is on patreon the link is in the description below don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not by now we are growing our little channel and we are growing our community and speaking of community i do have a twitch as well where i do stream almost daily it's either gaming music chatting parties it's 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 crazy you have the link in the description below as well and uh, yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the movie i hope you enjoyed the reaction and i do hope to see you on my next one bye bye